We have big news about The Boring Company. It's been around for more than five years now, and finally, major progress seems to be happening with the project in Texas and Las Vegas. But probably the biggest step forward for the company is the new Series C funding, which it recently accomplished. To know more about these game-changing updates for the company, you might want to stick around till the end of this video. But before we get more into the updates, what's The Boring Company all about? A project that receives relatively lesser media coverage than his other companies, Elon Musk's Boring Company is arguably as important and revolutionary as his space and automotive ventures. The company's vision is to create a tunneled, low-cost transportation infrastructure for passengers and cargo throughout major cities in the United States by boring through the ground. The only vehicles allowed through this system are, you guessed it, Teslas. And yes, the name of the company was intentionally thought of as a funny but still accurately descriptive double meaning. The project may also head beyond borders as well with some interest shown in Europe and Australia. The company explains the need for this tunnel transit system on their official website by stating, to solve the problem of soul-destroying traffic, roads must go 3D, which means either flying cars or tunnels are needed. Unlike flying cars, tunnels are weatherproof, out of sight and won't fall on your head. Elon's goal to take clean energy transport to the next level seems to be aligning with the Boring Company's proposed tunnel transportation system. Having multiple loop transport systems in place will take a lot of work, approval from various cities and state governments and, especially, a lot of funding. Having achieved a whopping $675 million Series C investment goal in April 2022, what has validated this level of approval and funding? What has The Boring Company actually implemented so far? The Boring Company's achievements so far. The Boring Company began constructing a 1.14 mile, that's 1.83 kilometer high speed tunnel in 2017 on a route in Hawthorne, California, adjacent to the SpaceX headquarters and manufacturing facility. In November 2018, the company announced the entry fee of the tunnel would be $1 after free entry on day one. The project was opened on December the 18th, 2018, and this event showcased a Tesla Model X used in the tunnel. By June 2019, the company paved the tunnel roadway with asphalt, smoothed the surface and added a guideway for autonomous vehicle operation and were testing car runs through the mile-long tunnel at speeds of 90 miles per hour for autonomous control and up to 116 miles per hour with human control. In March 2019, the Las Vegas Conventions and Visitors Authority recommended the Boring Company for a system to shuttle visitors in a loop underneath the sprawling Las Vegas Convention Center, or LVCC, to be completed by 2021 with the potential for future expansion along the Las Vegas Strip and to the Allegiant Stadium and McCarran International Airport. A loop system has been described by The Boring Company as an all-electric, zero-emissions, underground public transportation system in which passengers are transported directly to their final destination with no stops along the way. In May 2019, the company won a $48.7 million project to start officially implementing the loop infrastructure. Though Tesla cars may have gotten more exposure out of these test runs and the LVCC loop system, the implementation itself was largely criticized. However, Musk's overall ideas for underground loop transit systems were still supported by governments. Shortly after the LVCC loop launch, the Las Vegas Strip expansion was eventually approved in October of 2021. This allows the company to dig beneath the strip which will connect passengers with various hotels and casinos and reach the McCarran International Airport. An explanation behind this much funding for the company this year is not totally clear, but some argue it's because of Musk's persistent pitching and his lofty ambitions with Tesla's line of new vehicles coming to reality in 2022. 
The funding was only the beginning of the boring company's further achievements and proposed plans in 2022. Ongoing projects and future goals. Using the $675 million investment, the company has plans to further develop the efficiency of its proof rock boring machine and, in particular, complete the ongoing construction of the Las Vegas loop systems. In April, the boring company opened the first of 51 planned stations meant for the public that are set to be constructed as part of the tunnel network underneath Las Vegas, which will see passengers carried across the city in a fleet of Teslas. The newly opened stop, located at the resort's World Las Vegas Hotel Complex, is an extension of the company's existing three-stop tunnel system underneath the Las Vegas Convention Center. It is the first station to be completed as part of the larger Vegas Loop, which will connect the LVCC with popular destinations along the Las Vegas Strip and downtown Las Vegas via 34 miles of tunnels. Fort Lauderdale has also approved funds for geological surveys and plans for the proposed downtown to beach route. Another big step for the company is its filed application with the city of Austin to build a tunnel under Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. The application, however, does not state what Tesla intends to do with the tunnel. This is reportedly the first time the company has filed a building permit application. The project, called the Colorado River Connector Tunnel, involves a private access tunnel along with associated improvements, which may be planned to be used as a restricted way to travel between Tesla factories with stealth. After raising its $675 million in the Series C funding round, the company has also recently moved its headquarters to Pflugerville, just northeast of Austin, and has reportedly been in talks about certain projects in Texas. Aside from these developments, another major travel system that they are currently working on is the Hyperloop. The Hyperloop system aims to be an ultra-high-speed public transportation system in which passengers travel in autonomous electric pods at 600 plus miles per hour, according to the company's official website. This was initially announced as a rough idea a decade ago by Musk and wasn't looked at as a realistic possibility until now. Once completed, the Hyperloop is meant to take you from DC to New York in less than 30 minutes. Similarly, a trip from DC to Baltimore would take around eight minutes without any stops or interruptions. On April 25th, shortly after the funding goal was met, Musk simply wrote on Twitter, Hyperloop testing at full scale begins later this year. The exact dates are unclear, but testing has been officially announced to start in the fourth quarter of 2022. So overall, we're looking at a pretty busy year for The Boring Company and hopefully an accurately scheduled one. What do you think about the company's achievements and transit plans so far? Do you think Musk's loop systems can be a reality around the world? Let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching.